Introducing the ATS4000 tourniquet system featuring personalized pressure technology. At Zimmer Biomet, we believe in treating every patient as an individual. That's why the goal of our tourniquet systems is not to simply stop blood flow. Our philosophy is to use the minimum amount of tourniquet pressure at a specific time with a specific cuff to a specific patient's limb. We call this personalized pressure technology. The ATS4000 is designed to take personalization and safety to the next level. The ATS4000 is a dual port, dual cuff system with a large touchscreen display screen that clearly displays the time and pressure during the surgical procedure. The illuminated green AC indicator shows that the unit is plugged in and is being powered by AC power. This setting is standby mode. To ensure the machine is always ready for use, it should remain plugged in at all times to keep the battery charged. If AC power is lost for any reason, the AC indicator light will go off, but the unit will remain powered for up to six hours via the battery backup. When the unit is operating on the battery backup, a battery status icon appears and displays the battery's current capacity. When the ATS4000 is turned on, the unit automatically runs a self-test to check system hardware and software. The Zimmer Biomet Circle Z icon and a progress icon appear on the LCD display during this diagnostic check. After the diagnostic check is complete, the unit automatically checks its calibration. The ATS4000 touchscreen has two sides. The red side controls the main cuff, while the blue side controls the second cuff. The cuff connector ports are color-coded to match the corresponding screens. To prevent potential accidental changes, the ATS screen requires intentional one-finger touches. Brushing, multi-finger, or palm touches will not activate the display. The default pressure and time settings are held in the machine's memory and will return whenever the machine is powered up. Tap the pressure tile to display the set pressure. A new tile appears with a pressure display and arrows. The pressure display will show the current default setting. The pressure settings range from 50 to 600 millimeters of mercury. Tap the arrows to change in increments of 1 or tap and hold the arrow to make changes in increments of 5. Tap the OK button to confirm the setting. The time tile functions in the same way. Tapping the tile shows the current time setting. The arrows can be used to adjust the time from 1 to 240 minutes. To change the default pressure or time setting, tap the setting icon on the bottom of the screen. Then tap the defaults menu button. The factory default pressure setting is 250 millimeters of mercury and the default time is 60 minutes. Tap the cuff toggle button to switch between the main and second cuff. Tap the left arrow button to decrease or the right arrow button to increase the default pressure or time. Tap and hold either button to change the setting in five unit increments. Tap the OK button to save the indicated pressure or time as the new default setting. The new settings are stored in the memory, but they will not take effect until the machine is restarted. The settings menu also allows the ability to change user preferences. These include brightness, volume, and language. The ATS4000 also includes an exclusive pre-op cuff test function. To test the cuff for leaks, connect the cuff to the main cuff ports. Tap the settings icon, then the cuff test menu button. Tap the next button to begin the cuff test. A testing view appears showing an animated progress bar and button. When complete, the display shows passed, leak detected, or error. The final pre-inflation procedure is calculating the limb occlusion pressure, or LOP. LOP is the lowest cuff pressure at which complete blood occlusion occurs in the operative extremity. Calculating LOP is easy and can be done prior to the patient being draped. Ensure that the LOP sensor is plugged into the ATS-4000 and that the tourniquet cuff has been placed on the patient. Attach the sensor to the patient's operative limb. For lower extremity surgery, the pulse sensor is typically applied to the second toe of the operative limb. For upper extremity surgery, the pulse sensor is typically applied to the index finger of the operative limb. To activate the LOP feature, tap the LOP icon on the display for the appropriate cuff. The ATS-4000 begins to inflate the cuff incrementally until the sensor detects the absence of a pulse in the operative limb. The tourniquet machine then calculates the LOP and allows the cuff to deflate. The LOP pulse sensor can then be removed. 
Using the LOP reading, the unit determines the recommended tourniquet pressure, or RTP, which is expressed in millimeters of mercury. In calculating the RTP, the unit includes a pressure margin in addition to the limb occlusion pressure. This feature helps ensure that blood occlusion in the limb is complete even when blood pressure fluctuates during the surgical procedure. To accept the RTP, tap Confirm and then tap Confirm for the pressure tile. This reading will remain on the screen until it is either confirmed or rejected. This setting can be adjusted during surgery if necessary. Now that we have covered all of the preoperative settings, it's time to learn about inflating and deflating the tourniquet for surgery. To inflate the tourniquet, simply tap the inflate button corresponding to the cuff you wish to inflate. While the tourniquet cuff is inflated, pressure, time, and preferences can be adjusted if needed. The ATS-4000 recognizes two types of errors that may occur. For a minor error, such as time expiring, the indicator light will flash yellow and a message will appear on the screen. This type of error can be silenced for 30 seconds by pressing the alarm silence button. For a major error, such as a line occlusion, the indicator light will flash red and a message will appear on the screen. This alarm cannot be silenced until the issue is resolved. To deflate the cuff at the end of a procedure, drag and hold the deflate button for three seconds. If the second cuff was inflated, you must always confirm deflation. Once the cuff has been deflated, a statistics icon will illuminate. Tap this icon to see starting pressure, ending pressure, LOP, and time the tourniquet was inflated. Tap the reset button to zero out the statistics. The statistics must either be reset through this process or through restarting the machine before the next procedure. With a large and intuitive touchscreen interface and powerful personalized pressure technology, the ATS-4000 tourniquet system from Zimmer Biomed is not only a leader in its field, but offers a way to truly differentiate and personalize the patient experience. A personal focus, a personalized fit. ATS-4000 from Zimmer Biomed.